happy Wednesday. If you guys hear something in the background, that would be my scanner. I had to scan a large document and it's almost done. Uh, good evening, everybody. I will start by saying uh, hello, hello. We have about five minutes. I am Tracy Winesapple. This is my studio. And I have something a little prepared. Um, I'm going to talk and um, talk and give an example. So, hi Lisa, hi Anne, hi Heather, hi Deborah, hi Lisa, Lisa, Nanette, uh, Sean. Wow, sorry about the scanner going off. Um, hello, Darlene. Thank you for joining me, you guys. So this is Wednesday night live in my studio. Ignore the bra straps. Can't figure out what the shirt needs. It definitely does needs no bra, <laughs> but my body does. Okay, so I do have something prepared today and I have a little show and tell and I have approximately 30 minutes. We're gonna end right at six. Hi, Judy, thank you for the money today. Um, I, I have somewhere to be right after this. Uh-oh, can you guys hear me? If you cannot hear me, maybe uh, tell uh, Lisa to refresh. Good afternoon, I'm guessing somewhere in Australia or New Zealand, Angela. Hollywood tape helps, Hollywood tape helps. Um. Hi, Linda. So, okay, you guys can hear me. So, welcome, welcome to my studio. If you cannot hear this, maybe hit refresh. Okay. And sorry if you hear the scanner going in the background. I had to scan my taxes from last year, double-sided for a refinancing, and I don't want to stop it. So... I will wait, 528, should be good evening. Okay, there we go, good evening everybody. I have some water. Oh, tape, thank you, got it, I thought you meant, okay. All right, so I'm gonna tell you where I'm going. Uh, right from here, about five, I, I did say six o'clock, I was gonna leave my house, my, um, a very good friend of mine, one of my best friends, ha passed away five years ago today. And there is a group of us girlfriends, we call ourselves The Village. We raised our kids, carpooled our kids, and um, it, it took a village to raise my kids. And so these, it was seven moms, we're down one, and um, we are meeting for our annual raise our glass to Tina night. So uh, I'm going to set a timer tonight and I'm going to speak. Hopefully that scanner will stop soon. Yeah, and no need to message me. I'm not a fashion model and I actually don't care if my bra straps hang out. I'm kind of one of those willy-nilly kind of gals. I don't even know what tape is used for. But thank you, Lisa, I probably should. So um, it's 5.30, okay. So welcome to my studio. I am Tracy Winesapple, and tonight I want to talk um, about um, some art journaling techniques that I use in order for you to fit this into your life because the number one thing I hear uh, are those who tell me that they don't have time. And I'm a mom. I have three children and um, I make time. I put my phone down. There's, there's your number one advice. Put your phone down either. Uh, oh, good idea, Lisa. Uh, cute top, it looks like one of our journal pages, yes. So I want to tell you just some of the tips that work for me and hopefully that you can use it. If for those of you who, um, I closed a chapter in my little world and I finished this art journal. And if you go to my Facebook page, I put a little video to music, a most fitting song. 
So if you want to see every one of these pages, uh, this is the end of this chapter, but I'm excited because I am going to start this chapter, which I kind of made a mistake already, but I'm leaving it in and I'm not going to stress over it. I wanted to prepare something. This took me two seconds to prepare, but I wanted to give you an example. So one of the things that I do as a time saver and as a time, um, like, just so I have some prepared pages, is I will typically have a book. Now, this one was made with a bunch of backgrounds, and I will do um, just a bunch of backgrounds in a book. So you will just have this random book that I always have available to me that I could go back and just pick up a black pen, and all I need is a black pen or a white pen, and um, you will be able to create. So that is number one tip is, there it goes, the scanner is off so I can concentrate now. So uh, if you don't have a book like this or an art journal, I just posted in my shop because people keep asking me about the art journals I use. And I started a new one today. So I, I, here it is, it's a watercolor journal. What's cool is these pages come in and out and I have these in my shop. Um, I made a mistake, but I'll tear this out so you can see it. Um, so this is just a prepared page I made. Literally, took me two minutes to just watercolor this. I even let the water pond up. I didn't really give a rear, rear end. And then these little pages pop back in. So uh, this was about my five-minute prep. I was going to do one of the pages I already have in this book, but I thought, how fitting. And I'm going to write the date. Here's, it, it. we talked about this in the last journal I did, and I don't know why I didn't write the date, but I'm going to be able to go back and find it. And um, I really do consider these books like chapters of my life, and I can tell you where and what, where I was. A lot of these are created as lessons for my members of your artful journey. I wrote the name in, uh, as a reward, a dollar, I don't, I didn't put that, but I never wrote the date. So I'm going to go back and figure out, because I remember I created this page, with my member, so it should be easy to find it. But this chapter of my life just ended on Monday night. This was something we paint. I painted live with the members of your artful journey. So um, I'm starting a new chapter in my life, and I'm, I'm not painting in this one. But these two, this one's a soft cover. The pages come out. Um, so, and they go back in, which makes it really handy if you're working. So I love the idea of prepping your background. Need to try it. Yes. So I, I don't always have prepared backgrounds. Oh, I'm going to talk and write because I did say I'm going to start the timer for 15 minutes. And my number one tip is to have prepared backgrounds. And then that way you can just pull out a pen or if you're going to the doctor's office, what am I looking for? Sorry, thinking and, all right. So while I'm speaking to you today, I'm gonna set a timer because typically for me, my morning meditation would involve either something that's prepped or I get in bed with my yogurt at night and um, I have a cool little table now. Um, but I, I just prepped this background because I really did wanna start the new chapter in my life with y'all. And um, I did make a mistake in this book, but don't pay attention to it. I'm not even going to point it out because it's not a mistake. Um, I haven't checked in for a bit. And gosh, uh, gosh, I missed you. Oh, Jennifer, that is so sweet for your viewers. Yes, there we go. I suspect that the whole punch that works with it, yes. Yeah, I love in and out pages. So this is a Grumbacher. I love tips. This is a Grumbacher watercolor book. There's 30 pages, and today is a new day. Today is a new chapter. I feel like it's a fitting day to start something new. And um, Alexa, start a timer for 15 minutes. I know you're all going to tell me that your Alexa started, huh? So I'm going to chit-chat with you while I'm drawing because I just, I've never really tried this. So this may not be as successful as I think it is. But I do want to give you an example that many, many things don't have to be um, 
And of course, I didn't write notes to make my life a little bit easier because that would have been better. But prepared backgrounds is one are one of the ways that I do save time. Another thing I do is I pick an art journal that's easily transportable, such as this. This book right here is, what is it, 5.5 inches by 8.5 inches. Yes, ladies, size matter. Um, so... My mother does watch this the next day. And this particular background, I taped off, but I'm just not in the thinking mood tonight. Can you tell? And we're gonna go a little bit bigger. We're not gonna, we're not gonna stress. I love to, I do have bigger books, so don't think. I, another common size that I will use typically is, what size? Uh, 7 by 10. But I decided that this go-round, I kind of had it in my brain, that this go-round I was going to go with a little bit something a little more bigger, or a little smaller because a little more bigger. But I went back, I, I, the one I was working in, I felt kind of constrained by its horizontal, um, by its horizontal positioning, but I didn't stick to horizontal. <laughs> this is beginning to sound dirty. Um, but most of the pages are, but you see, there we go. If you get the gist, but I, I kind of felt limited. I loved this book, but I kind of felt limited. It was just a great travel size book to summer so um, I don't know just thought I would mix it up a little bit for you all and it is not that difficult to carry around a sharpie in my opinion and another thing you want to remember is some pages are going to be fantastic some are not going to be fantastic i went through my book and realized i was quite pleased with the variety of pages uh but i do take my books with me to various appointments such as i don't know what i'm doing with this but we're gonna I'm, I'm going for 15 minutes, and there's a reason for that, because I do have to leave at 6, but because I want to prove that you can get a lot done in 15 minutes. Um, oh, golly. Not if you're... Look at this. Don't buy cheap painter's tape. It's, it's like, I don't know. You get what you're paid for, but this stuff is just absolute... I don't, I'm not going to give them the name. I probably took it from work anyway, but... Uh, probably borrowed it from work when I needed something quickly. It's really crap though. Okay. I just want to tape off because I want I like to go over the edges. Now would I count this in my 15 minutes? Yes, we have to count this in my 15 minutes. I'm just blocking this off so that I can draw, draw, draw. So you guys, I had the most relaxing weekend. I went kayaking and it was so great. But Friday, I'm taking the day off and I'm going paddle boarding. I realized all work, no play makes me a really dull girl. Okay. <sighs> okay. So let's go back. This particular flower is just a doodle. So I'm not looking for uniformity and, you know, if things. So what other things do I do to save time? Uh, let me think. Well, first off, I do set a timer, especially in the morning when I don't have a lot of time. I will set a timer and allot myself the 15 minutes. Taping things off really does help because it allows you, if you're not using really cheap bumbling tape like I am, the blue tape is the best. I think frog tape is pretty good. This stuff, not great. Anyway. So 15 minutes, a lot can happen, <laughs> and then some. 
And yes, this is how my drawings will mostly go. Mindlessly drawing. Yep, don't like this tape. I'll just get rid of it when I'm done. See, it doesn't even stick. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? Well, because the pages tear out. <laughs> Look at that. How about I just work? Even what I was trying to do, it didn't work. There we go. Pages come out. I want to be, I don't really want to paint in. I, I don't want to draw into my background. There we go. So that's how I save. There's another time saving technique. So pre-done background. The other thing I will do is I will draw my drawing first on white paper. Then I will color it. Uh, I take books to doctor's appointments. I used to take it on carpool. I don't carpool kids anymore because I don't have any that need me to carpool them. Uh, I know that's crazy. I also am known for uh, doing crossword puzzles and um, like going to breakfast. Uh, now, if I'm just going to breakfast on my own, yes, I still carry my book with me because I will probably deviate and start drawing. Yeah, that's a lot more maneuverable. Tearing out the pages help. Uh, when I put the laundry in in the morning is one of my best times to start the timer. I think we learned tonight the tape matters. I like to tape things off because I like to draw as if the pedal just keeps going. I find it's easier for me just to draw off the page. I don't normally do borders, but I did in this case because... And then, of course, this is perforated, so I didn't even pay attention to that. You know, I didn't. And yes, tonight I'm toasting with friends out. Mask on. Our local places are opening slowly but surely. Okay. Yep, that's it. I now... I'm going to come back in. I don't draw with pencil. There's another time saver. I don't carry around an eraser. There's another time saver. You know why? Uh, when I draw with a pencil, I end up using that eraser more than I use the pencil. So why bother? My art journal is a safe space for me to get creative. It's not a judgment space. I'm not running, uh, it's not a contest. So if it turns out great, great. If it turns out not so great, I'll live. If you kind of have that mindset of this piece of paper, this is one thing, um, any ideas that do work, See, and now I kind of find where the where the uh, color is going. And I go right with the Sharpie. I know that is... These petals of this particular imaginary Dr. Seuss uh, flower <laughs> uh, are skinny, they're fat, they're kind of how I started COVID, skinny and then turned too fat. <laughs> and you know, I do share, I will share this drawing. In 15 minutes, it might not be done. But I just want to show you how much you could do if you commit to 15 minutes and then you put a camera and air it on FaceTime and hope everything doesn't go to crap. There's another idea. Do it live. Take it to a restaurant, sit down, and see how many people ask you, what are you doing? Um, I'm actually going looking to start like a local art journaling meetup group for this type of exercise where we just draw. Wouldn't that be fun? 
I'm happy to report that my classes are starting back up. I'm also happy to report, whereas I thought nobody was going to show up, if you build it, they will come. Okay. What other time-saving? Okay, my number one. I should always say my number one time-saving thing is get off social media. No. <laughs> get off Facebook. Uh, I also do this while I'm watching TV. Yes, there we go, Linda. I already have it in the works. I already got uh, a location, location. I am truly passionate about what I, I do and this purpose. And it's not necessarily talking about just drawing. I happen to love that aspect of it. It's the connection that you make with yourself while you're drawing. Uh, very few people know how to relax or meditate or are good at it. And I find this to be a very meditative thing. The more you try, the better you get. Okay. Wow. This, this bad boy is coming to life. And I'm going to finish it tonight in bed. Well, there's nothing to say I can't. Okay, what other time-saving techniques do, do I have? Uh, I gotta think, I gotta think. Oh, you teach, they will come. Thank you, Patricia. They'll be coming with face masks. Uh, but I already got a plan, and I'm gonna keep it distanced and all that. I even... I'm very excited about that. I really am excited about it. I, I really missed, I really miss, I miss people. I'm a hugger too, so it's a big problem. <laughs> All right. I'm kind of, wow, it's like I threw up a giant flower. Okay. But I love it. This is a great way to start this book. You know what, Dr. Seuss is one of my most favorite um, artists in the whole wide world. I'm lucky to, I just saw his house too. Uh, I didn't go there. Uh, when you're in a kayak in the Hoya Cove, it, you can, you go right by it. Uh, he, Theodore Geisel lived in La Jolla, California, and that's where I was kayaking this weekend. So what am I going to prove that I can draw a lot in 15 minutes? Uh, here's another thing you want to do. Here's a time-saving technique. Shut your brain off. Uh, don't give space to negative Nancy in your brain. And don't allow her to come out where you're drawing. Tell her you're busy. And um, tell her she can come back in the morning when you're doing the laundry. And you can debate the laundry. So there's another thing. I put a lot of trust in to just seeing where things go. Tell negative Nancy she doesn't even need to come back. She's not needed. Be present. Now, it is a little difficult. I'm trying to be present with you guys, and I almost feel like this is rude, but the one thing I did promise tonight was to take it back to the drawing, and I would like you to benefit from that. I also love to assign little homework and say, hey, see what you can sketch up in five minutes, 15 minutes. Again, I set a timer. Alexa, how long on my timer? seconds. Thank you. <laughs> I also take my, I take this, I take my journal everywhere I go. I, I, um, I'll show you, I carry my journal with me. Thank you, Alexa. Alexa off. Now, 
I promised 15 minutes and that's all I'm doing. Okay, I, I promised 15 minutes. This is not done, let's be clear. I could, I could continue to draw this, but it's not done. I'll, I'll just show that. What I wanna show you is that in 15 minutes, I mean, not counting the five minute background, uh, this is what came out of that. And it doesn't have to be overthinking. You can have sketches. I also will save flower drawings that I see on my phone and I will print them up and put them next to me. I happen to be a lover of flowers and in fact, I got flowers. Here we go. I try to always have flowers in my studio. I seem to think that the colors that were in here kind of inspired me. There we go. So I, and I will share this. I will share this when it is all done and it's finished. What I really want to tell people and what I want to tell you all is you can reevaluate and look at where you're spending your time and your priority. You, if you have small children and they sit down to read or they sit down to draw, Get your journal out and draw with them. I think it's really great to be an example to your kids. My kids at a very young age were very artistic. They ended up growing up to hate it. Ironically, it's funny because now my son is working at a camp where they're doing art projects and it's making me laugh. But these are the things that I say I look at my time. I also evaluate when I am most productive. I used to be a morning person, so I would step outside in the morning, but now I've discovered that I've readjusted. I think, I think because of COVID happening, I readjusted and now use my mornings either to run, walk, or I start work right away. I have a couple of jobs, but so I don't use necessarily the morning, but I will fit it in in the evening. Uh, it could be something you do with your lunch. I know this sounds crazy, but when you carve the time out and you start to make it a habit, when you go and sit down, it's similar like go, similar to going to the gym. It's like muscle memory. When you sit down, first off, you've got the ideas flowing. My ideas are always flowing, which is good. Not always, but um, you've built up those creative muscles and you're also building up the creative guts where you go, yep, I just don't care. And this book, remember, this book is your book. You don't necessarily have to share your book. You don't have to share your book, but it is a great place to grow from. So part of growth is being uncomfortable and being scared, and part of being scared is sharing and that vulnerability. I think I shared a quote the other day from Brene Brown that from vulnerability comes from something. It was a really great quote. I can't even remember it right now. Um, so, uh, look at this. Bye-bye. I... Yeah. It, I, I do have a lot of people who say to me, like, for me, when I get out of the habit of, like, 15 minutes a day seems to kind of do it, and I pick up where I left off, this will probably take me another 15 to 20 minutes, and I'll finish it tonight in bed. So I will make sure you see a finished picture of this. Um... Dina just said she did some backgrounds while she was on vacation. So she's ready for the project today. And I, she drew along with me. Oh, my God. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Um, I would have to say that's probably one of my most number, like, biggest tip is just to have some backgrounds already done. I happen to have a whole journal full of them. But this album right here, I, um, I'm also one of those people who likes to finish things within about a day or two because then I find out when I pick back up like four days from now, first I'm bored of this and second off, I'm not in the same headspace. So like right now, this is my headspace. This is where I'm, I'm coming from. <laughs> What's funny is, holy moly, who, who's stuck in this head? Yeah. Uh, somebody says, as a teacher of little kids, one of the best things that you can do, hold on, I, da, 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 is take real time for you, especially if it's create, feed your soul, explain to them you're creating for yourself and give them the tools, physical and spiritual, to do that for themselves at the same time. Um, I make mine a daily practice of about 30 minutes. 15 minutes was really too short. And of course, I was trying to talk to you. And I've got some shading and some definition and probably throws a couple of other things down. 
But what Jennifer said was exactly right. When you take the time, this time aside, and think about where you put your time in a day. I have three kids, three jobs, and a house. I'm a little busy. I could be busy every second of my day. But the one thing I have found that helps me to show up better for everybody else is taking that 30 minutes. Otherwise, I am just like ready to explode. Yes, Debbie said she did a background while, while we were um, chatting. Yeah, I really am one of those people now. If I were, and I do do commission work. So I do wine barrels. I do canvases. I do big things. I do big things. Um, I don't finish those all in one day. Now, if I get really rolling, <laughs> I do tend to forego on the sleep. But for the most part, I have a concept drawing. And any of these ideas that you do in these books, I love that this is so portable. Any of these ideas that you do in this book can be done on a much grander, greater scale. So I will do everything that you probably see me do is an exercise. So um, for my Artful Journey members, everything is an exercise and I try to build on these things. And then all of a sudden it becomes where they're taking all these different techniques from all these different locations and making it their own and putting that all together. So I really, really, really uh, would love, oh, I paint on, hold on, I paint on denim. It's a denim jacket behind me. I paint on watering cans. Here you go. This is one of my classes. This class has been scheduled since April. But if you notice, there's elements of everything I do in my work. So um, when I go to sit down and paint something that's 3D, I now have the guts, I guess, to attack it. Instead of looking at a big canvas and just feeling like, oh my goodness, that's a ton of real estate. When you're looking at something like this, remember it's just a piece of paper. Who really cares? Just a piece of paper. And this is for you to create. This is for you. This is for you to try all those fun techniques. So. Put, put down your phone, unless you're looking at my art and going, wow, that inspired me. Then you can only go to my Facebook page. I'm kidding. But seriously, it, I try to post things that are going to inspire you. My membership group, it's a really, we dig into lessons. I give them assignments and homework and nothing that is due. It's really just inspire them to pick up their books. And I will tell you one thing. We just did this drawing. This was our morning meditation. This is an example of what I do with my group. We set the timer for, well, this was wine with wine. No, bad one. Hold on. Help me remember. This was a morning meditation. We set the timer for 20 or 30 minutes. And then I went off air and I finished it. And so they really took this particular page and flew with it. And everybody, we stop, we do that once a month. And what that encourages you to do, it's like, it's just like a diving board to dive off. Here's where we started. Now go from there. And you guys realize that background that I did was very simple. Orange, yellow. Thank you, Sean. It was 20 minutes. So it was really five more minutes than what we did. Orange, yellow, pink, and then I went into purple. And I just used a ton of water. I let it pond up and dry. And this background took me five minutes. I did it right before we. So if you understand, or if you look now, five minutes for a background, 15 minutes for a drawing, maybe another 15 minutes, you're really around 30 minutes. So. Nothing that you just have to remember you're so worth it. You are so worth it. And one last tip before I go, because it's 601. Put all your supplies, your portable supplies. You don't need an art studio. I, I hear I'm going to come full screen. You don't need an art studio, but if you do, that's great. It's always a great carved out space. Some people have it in a closet. Some people have it in the corner. But if you don't have an art studio, 
Um, I highly suggest this bag goes to bed with me every night. This is why I'm not married. <laughs> um, this bag, 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 and so this has my watercolors, and I've unpacked. There's a YouTube video, and I do have this bag, and everything in this bag goes with me. Goes goes with me to bed. It fits next to my bed, and so and it also goes in my um, in my um, car. It goes with me sometimes if I'm going out to eat. It looks like a purse. So find something that looks like a purse. This was made for me, and have it all transportable. That way, every time you go to Art Journal, you don't have to pack up your crap or look for things. That's like one of the most like biggest time saving things all of my drawing and I don't have to have a pile of supplies remember like this is my drawing stuff and paint brushes paint brushes if you go to my YouTube channel I have unpacked my bag there's no secrets in my bags um, even there's water brushes filled with water don't have to get up out of my bed and fill up water um, so there's just those type of things. Don't waste your time on this. <laughs> time is precious. Stick to the good stuff. <laughs> so there you go. I think I gave you lots of tools. Let me break it down. Have some backgrounds that are already done or sit down and do your backgrounds. You could do five or so in one go. And you can flip around. You don't have to like work in order, which is great about when the pages come out uh, you can move things around or just leave them and shuffle off to it have your stuff all packed up take your book with you because it's portable with just a black pen when you take your book somewhere in like a waiting room uh, first off you pass the time so fast you're going to tell the doctor no come back i'm busy while you're wearing that one-sided gown uh, you're going to be far more relaxed than you ever have and you'll look at time a little bit differently uh, find out when you are most productive or you are the most creative or make it just a daily habit where every morning you wake up and the first thing you do is grab your coffee or tea your art journal and sit down for five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes what I did took us 15 minutes 15 minutes and I will of course go and grab some more stuff but no more excuses. Let's, let's wipe out the excuses. You are worth it. You will find that you are going to return to life in a much happier space. You'll take on the day or end the day uh, with meditation. And I use the word meditation lightly because I'm not a meditator. Okay. I hope that you guys gain something from this um, evening. And I shared some lessons. And remember, you don't need to have negative Nancy with you. She shouldn't pack a bag with you. She, she can hold no headspace up here. <laughs> thank you so much. You guys, I'm off to go toast my very good friend. I thank you so much. Um, I'm going to leave you with this uh, because I have a little secret coming out in June. If you are interested in your artful journey and becoming a member, go join the wait list. You won't be sorry. You will be the first to find out what we have cooking. But the next couple of months, a lot of good stuff. And I've been working on all the lessons. So I hope it was helpful. Please take and set the timer 15 minutes and make yourself sit down and tell everybody this. Do not disturb me. I'm busy. I'm busy. Please say that to them. Okay, I am off to go toast my friend. Thank you so much. This video will go immediately to YouTube. Please go visit my YouTube channel too and hit the subscribe button. Uh, I have lots of good stuff over there. We're building up. There's so much good stuff. Anyway, and if you didn't check out this video, if you didn't check out the video, I shared every single one of these pages to some music, and I thank you all for being part of my art-filled journey. Good night, guys. Talk to you soon.